was Martin Luther so anxious to change the world? Martin had been supporting too many lies and conflicts. The corruption and ignorance of the Roman Catholic Church was the object of Martin Luther's attack when he wrote the 95 Theses. In 1517, the Roman Catholic Church was a powerful force in the Western world. The Church controlled religion, philosophy, morals, politics, arts, and education. The Catholic Church would say that anybody who was considered to have gone against them would be considered a non-believer and would be burned. The Church did not like to look weak and did not support any departure of their teachings. Why was the Roman Catholic Church so powerful? Its power had been growing during the last centuries by the people, for example, because of their ignorance and superstition. The money gained from the people gave the church even more power. It was told that they could only get to heaven if they went to church. The population looked at their priests as their passport to heaven, since they did not know and were taught to doctrine by birth. This circumstance gave a lot of power to both the priest and the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church would always say, if you keep your priest happy, you're going to heaven. The relationship between the people and the church was based on money. Rich families would pay for their sons to be on high position in the Catholic Church. They believed this would for sure take you to heaven. You had to pay to become a Christian, to get married, and to get buried on holy ground. If not, you would go to hell. You were expected to work on church land for free every week. When people would work on church land, they wouldn't be able to work on their own land. This situation would be difficult for a person since they did, wouldn't be able to produce for his or her family or prepare for next year. Martin Luther was born in November 10, 1483. He grew up around the Roman Catholic Church. He and his parents were middle class peasants. When Martin turned 21 years, he earned a master's degree at Erfurt College, becoming a lawyer. Later, in 1505, while Martin was traveling through a terrible thunderstorm, he had an experience that would change his life completely. He started to fear when lightning struck by him, almost hitting him. He cried out to God, promising that if he survived, he would live as a monk. So he did. Of course, he never left his studies. He was a really important theologian in the Roman Catholic Church. Martin Luther felt the responsibility to question some teachings and actions of the Roman Catholic Church. He questioned the statement that said, Salvation was possible through good works and God's punishment for sin could be purchased with money. He felt the responsibility to save the truth from God's word that salvation could be reached through faith and by divine grace only. While reading the book of Psalms, he read, the just will live by faith. Finally, he realized the key to spiritual salvation was not to fear God or be enslaved by religious saints. It was to believe that faith alone would bring salvation. He had to do something about all of this, mostly about the selling of indulgences. In 1517, Pope Leo V announced a new round of indulgences to help build St. Peter's Basilica. Inside Martin Luther's reflections and feelings, he felt authority and right to ask this question. Why doesn't the Pope, whose wealth today is greater from the wealth of the richest places, build the Basilica of St. Peter with his own money? What Martin Luther wanted to say from the 95 Theses was that selling indulgences to finance the building of St. Peter was wrong. The Pope has no power over purgatory and that the buying of indulgences gives people a false sense 
of security and endangers those 95 theses spread throughout Germany within two weeks and throughout Europe in two months. He was completely sure that everyone had the right to know and understand the only source of Christian religious authority, the Bible. In 1526, he translated the entire Bible into German. He then spread their, this translation across the Northern and Eastern Europe calling his new tradition evangelism. What impact did the 95 Theses by Martin Luther have in the Christian Church on the entire world? More than 500 years have passed and the Christian Protestant Church has had a real influence in the world. John Calvin, being a disciple from Martin Luther, believed everything about the Christian Protestant Reform. With the information, he founded Swiss Reformed Church. After the 95 Theses of Martin Luther, the popes by that time, Pope Leo V, lost almost all their power. The Reformation, together with the Theses, caused a lot of blood and violence. By 1618, the 30-year war began. Catholics had the mistake in trying to eliminate Protestantism. When that happened, they engaged in terrible persecution and repression. No one got the victory, but Germany's population was 18 million and it lowered to 4 million. Up to this point, there are still fights and arguments about the Protestant Reformation. Many lives have been changed up to this point. After Martin Luther's death, the Protestant or evangelism kept spreading around the world. The Catholic Church had changed during the past few years, but they will never forget the big impact Martin brought to the church. Martin was an example in life, a prosperous guy and a person to admire. He lived by faith most of his years in life. His strength was the passage, the just will live by faith. Hi Jennifer, congratulations on your work about the Protestant Reformation. Some of us believe this is one of the most significant events in the history of humanity and certainly for the Western civilization. Talking about Martin Luther and his achievements, we can emphasize three of them as the most significant. Number one, he translated the Bible to the language of the common man and thus he brought the opportunity to the people to communicate directly with God and to understand Him from the Holy Scripture. That brought a vision, a worldview of uh, life and the world to the people based on the structure of the Bible. Number two, he brought up the subject of the priesthood of the believer. Instead of having a priest that is an intermediary with God, now we all can go to God directly. And number three, very, very important, when he translated the word call, that meaning, meaning, meaning a divine call, a call from God, he translated into the word work. And so the German people gave birth to the Protestant ethic, uh, to the <clears throat> work Protestant ethic, because they believed that you can work and serve God at the same time. 